You? Is anybody? There's Molly, folks. That means your friends, the Goldbergs, are here. Brought to you by Does, the new kind of soap for everything in your wash. First, let's drop in on the Dozen family. Hmm, there's Daisy Dozen, home from her first class in dramatic school. She's telling Ma. I've decided, Ma. I'll be the world's greatest living actress. That's real nice, Daisy. I'll devote my life to my art. Well, could you spare a minute to take this Daz over to the Palmers? She's never tried Daz. Okay, Ma. Ah, I go on wings of lightning. Don't run your legs off, Daisy. Just tell her it's that new kind of soap for everything in the wash. I shall say, here in yon red box is Daz. One soap for all your washing. Rag rugs, towels, rayon undies, overalls, everything. Gracious, all you have to say is Daz does everything. Why, it's just wonderful, even for Pa's dirtiest work shirt. Oh, work shirts. Wherefore art thou, work shirts? Well, wherever they are, dear, does will clean them easy, without a bit of hard scrubbing. I never fuss with the bar soap anymore now. Does does the job all by itself. All this and more, does does. Right. Tell Mrs. Palmer, does gets the grimiest towels whites can be. Honestly, she won't see a whiter wash. And don't forget to tell her this same does is safer for the pretty colors she washes. Fear not, Mother dear. I'll tell her she can wash the rainbow in does. Nonsense, Daisy. Just say colors stay bright longer with does. Yet it can't be beat for getting towels really white. Ah, uh, does. Telling of thy wonder shall be the start of my career. Land sakes, does sure does everything. Well, does does everything on wash day, that's sure. In fact, does is the only leading granulated wash day soap that gives longer life to colors, plus unsurpassed whiteness and real cleaning power for the grimiest clothes. Try does, D-U-Z. It does everything in the wash. And now the Goldberg. Well, the last links in the full exposure of Molly's daughter-in-law are being forged. Molly now knows the full story, but we as yet do not. The girl who came out of nowhere as Sammy's wife, the girl, Grace, whom Molly took to her heart, the girl who worked with George in an effort to get what they could from the Goldbergs, the girl who is now going to be a mother herself, this girl is now in the light of complete truth. But just how bright that truth is, we still haven't heard. Listen. Ma? Ma. Is George inside with Papa? Yes, George is inside with Papa and shot. Well, why don't you call the police, Ma, and have him arrested? The police? <laughs> For what? To punish them? To put them behind bars in the prison? <laughs> Hi, Rosalie. They're in a worse prison than I could put them in. Much worse. However... However, it'll be up to Papa. Whatever will be Papa's decision will be done. Well, what did George want you to do? Promise him that you'd wait until Grace is well enough? I didn't promise. I didn't promise anything, Rosalie. Please don't give me questions now. Don't give me questions. I only want to see Papa come out of the room, that's all. I only want to see Papa, that's all. Rosalie, I never believed there were bad people in the world. Mankin, there are. Very bad. Bad cruel and unfeeling. I could forgive them. I could forgive them if they came into the house and they opened my pocketbook and they took out whatever they found. But to come the way they came and to trample on our feelings, to walk on, on, on our hearts when everybody is so full of pain, now when, when the living from day to day takes the courage of giants, not people. Mama, darling, Mom. Rosalie, all Mom. right. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm not deciding anything. I'm not deciding. Let Papa decide. Whatever Papa decides, that'll be done. That's right, Mom. That'll be. Stir me, Mommy. Stir me a glass of tea, Rosalie. Rosalie, put your hands on my temples a minute. A okay. minute, Mommy. All Just right. like that, gently, gently yeah. massage Mommy's temple. All Thank right. Thank you. Thank you. Stir me a glass of tea, Mommy. And take up a glass of milk uh, to Grace. I wish you were out of here. Silence. 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 We can't wish now. We have to wait till Papa comes out. That's all. And bring me a pen and a pencil, Rosalie. Mama, darling, this is one time that you shouldn't interfere. I said, I said I wouldn't. 
Whatever Papa decides will be the decision. Where's Uncle David? Upstairs with Grace. Oh, you didn't tell him the whole story, huh, darling? He's ignorant. You told me not to tell him, Ma, so I didn't. That's excellent. That's excellent. It's enough that I know and soon Papa will know. Are you getting me the paper and the stationery, well, darling? You, you want a tea, Ma? You give me the stationery without tea. Who are you going to write to, Sammy? To the Red Cross. To the Red Cross, I have to write. I have to inform them as quickly as possible. I have to inform them. Poor Samily. Here, Ma. Thank you very much. Rosalind, don't go by the door. But it's so quiet, Ma. All right, then. Only pick a boo in. Pick a boo in. Who All knows? Right. Who knows how Papa feels now? Only pick a boo gently. Oh. Knock a little bit. Look out, Kitty, for me. Open. Close the door. Papa said, close the door. Yes, Ma. Hm. All right. So sit. Sit and write. Ma, maybe you write should Write without maybes, darling. Write without maybes. Here, don't scribble. Write elegant. Here, nicely write. With penmanship. Ready? Mm-hmm. Dearest Red Cross, to whom this may concern Red Cross. Got it? Yeah. Got it. All right. Capital letter now. Make a paragraph after the salutation. Just recently, not so long ago, comma, I wrote to you making a request, which you in due time committed. I wish you would now repeat it in reverse, of which I will inform you. You say absolutely nothing, Ma. Why? Because. I wish you would now repeat it in reverse, of which I will inform you. What does it mean, Ma? That's the introduction to the next paragraph. All right. So abbreviate it. As I say it, you don't have to write it exactly. Take mine ideas and make sentences. All right, so well, what do you want to say, Ma? So give me. When you make faces, I don't Ma. Know, give me, please. Everybody understands when I write. Only you don't understand. Ma, please. I say nothing when I write. Everything's nothing. Give me. Ma. Give me. Red Cross is, is, is one word or two words? Two. Thank you. Everybody understands, only you don't understand. Let me see. Okay. Red Cross. Red Cross. Request R. R E. R E. Q U E S T. Wait. Q. Q is with a G only the no. other way? Yeah. Like a G only opposite. That's right. West. So. All right. Now, now give me Sammy's number, please. Oh, Bruce? Come in, Bruce. Hey, Goldberg. Come in, dear. Oh, Rosie. Oh, Bruce. I'm sorry, me and Mary don't find the time for any social life these days. I understand. Masha tells me her hired man, George, is leaving. I thought maybe he'd like to come work for me. I'm so short-handed these days. Well, uh, I think... She says he's over here visiting with you. I'd like to ask him myself, if I could. Yes, uh, surely, Bruce. I mean, he's, he's talking with Mr. Goldberg at the moment. Can I tell him to call you? No, I'll, I'll wait and talk to him. Did I interrupt something? No, just, uh, just writing. To your boy? Yes and no. How, how's your daughter-in-law? Well, she's... Um... She seems like an awful nice girl. I, I was kind of thinking of you folks the other day when I read something in the paper... I wonder if you saw it. What, Bruce? Oh, about a couple of cheap crooks who ought to be hung for what they did. Ma. Uh, Bruce is talking, Rosalie. When I think of what they were doing, Mrs. Goldberg, my blood just gets out of hand. Uh, they were traveling around, pretending to bring messages from soldiers and taking advantage of the home folks whose hearts are all softened up. The old badger game. The meanest kind of thing you ever heard of. Why, in one case, they went... Uh, Jake? Yeah? Why didn't you prepare me for this uh, shock? Jake, Bruce is here. George, uh, you know Bruce Hanley? Uh, Hi. George, Hello, Bruce. Uh, Bruce Hanley uh, wants to know if you'll work for him. Well, I... Good pay, good eats. Sit down, George. Don't run away. Sit down, Jake. Bruce, um, tell uh, George and Mr. Goldberg what you were reading in the paper. Oh, I guess you read it. Uh, about a couple of crooks who come and pose as friends. 
Or even the wives of soldiers? Well, uh, something like that. Uh, Bruce, uh, what should be done with people like that, Bruce? Well, I know what I'd do. I... Uh, well, tell us. I'm, I'm sure George would like to hear and I would like to hear. Tell us. Well, it ain't that the world isn't full of crooks. I know people steal and connive and do all kinds of things that aren't exactly right. We've had people like that, and sometimes, well, you may catch them, but you ain't mad at them. People get driven to steal sometimes, and they do, and you catch them, that's that. But these other crooks, they ain't like that. They ain't nothing like that. These people, you don't even feel like calling them human beings. They wait till the whole country is in danger. They... They wait till millions of boys are away and families are upset and sacrificing and everybody's heart is homesick and confused. They wait till the moment when we need all our courage and faith and then these petty, cheap, disgusting animals come crawling out of their holes and they come to the families of soldiers and pretend to be friends or wives or buddies. They do. And they use the softness of the people at home, hurt their feelings and use them until they get what they want. But Money. Uh, most of the time. But, Bruce, uh, what should be done with people like that? What, uh, what would you do, Bruce? I'd like to lay my hands on one of them, that's all. George stares at the floor as the denunciation pours over his head. And he knows that the records describe him and Grace. But... What is the secret that Molly and Jake have finally discovered about Grace? You know, when things don't turn out as we expect, it's sometimes wise to stop and size up the situation. That's what Unky Dozum should have done yesterday. He told me... I was going to help Ma Dozum with the wash, and so I put a box of dozen in the washing machine and started it up, and well, nothing happened. <laughs> Good gosh, I forgot to open the box. Well, you do have to open the dust box first. But once you give this new kind of soap a chance, it'll do everything in the wash. Work clothes, towels, to colored rayon slips. Why, Duz is the only leading wash day soap that combines so much safety for those nice colors, along with so much cleaning power for grimy overalls and unsurpassed whiteness for towels. Even in the toughest wash, Duz does everything. And friends, remember, this is wartime, and all soaps contain vital war materials. So help make Duz go further. Soak clothes in clear, cool water before washing in Duz suds. See to it every bit of Duz you use does more. Be sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs, written for you by Gertrude Berg. Molly has a heart-to-heart -heart talk with George, and the long folly stands fully revealed. This is Clayton Collier speaking and reminding you to do as the dozens do. Let does, the new kind of soap, do everything in your wash. <laughs>